Hey, this is Cheryl of Watch Cheryl Scrap, and I'm here today with another digital scrapbooking process video for you. Today I'll be scrapping this um, picture of my son and daughter, uh, just to get this past weekend um, for my daughter's 19th birthday. I'll be using a kit called My Wish For You um, from Studio Basic and um, Blogo Vesta at Sweet Shop Designs. And um, actually when I started this layout, I knew which photo I wanted to use. I just didn't pull it over until the very end. And the first thing that caught my eye was the word art, the my wish for you. And I wanted that to be in the center of the page. So that's where I started building. Um, and I liked the little word strips. Right now I'm just taking a look at the background papers um, that are available and just trying to make some decisions there. I end up with that white paper with the uh, splatters on it and just bring it down in size. And then I take some time trying to decide how to uh, mat the papers. So you'll see me pulling some things in here and there. And I wanted to have uh, some of that red, but I didn't like how that looked. And so I'm just going to continue. I've added that um, black arrow paper in the back. And because the word art has those uh, stamped red pieces, I wanted to have that red background paper. So I really did like it a lot better after I put in the black and white. And now I'm just slowly going to be building up the page itself um, using paint and elements and... Super cute kit. And there's nothing more right that we want for our kids than for them to know and be sure that we love them, that they're very loved. It's always a good reminder. Okay, this piece is completely awesome. Just a whole, um, it has the tag, it has the paint, everything. So quick and easy to bake. layout if you just had those pieces to put together. Now I took those little hearts there and I did put them behind the word art because I had added so much paint it was starting to get a little lost. But I still liked how everything was back there. The thread. There's lots of elements, very unique elements in this um, collection and made it just really easy to scrap with it. I'm trying to decide where I'm gonna put this tag and uh, I think it does end up down there towards the bottom. It gets layered up with another tag or two. And this little element with the star and the toothpick. That's very cute. Maybe you want to reach out and 
touch the layout when I got finished with it. I really liked the dimensional elements, but it wasn't like too much dimension. It was just right. I think I'm finally going to pull in my photo here towards the end. Oh, yeah, there's that other tag that I added in. Just moving some pink down there into that corner. Just a little flower. Wanted to add a little bit more blue and red, so those word strips were a good addition. I'm just adding several flowers in. I can never have enough flowers. And then here you'll see the last thing that I do is um, add the photo and I do my journaling and uh, custom shadows off camera. But you'll see here uh, the completed layouts coming up. So you'll get a close up view of that. Of course, if you like watching these uh, process videos, uh, consider liking it. And of course, share it with your friends and be sure to subscribe so that you can uh, see what I have coming in the future. Thanks as always for watching. And I'll see you next time.